What's going on guys? I'm John. I'm Isaac. And today we are installing a brand new hot off the press Tillotson 212R engine on this old mini bike. What we have here is a Murray Track 2 Mini Racer. It's got a three and a half horse Tecumseh engine on it and that's all I know about it. It looks to be about early to mid 90s. Yeah and it's actually very clean beefy frame so something perfect for a pretty beefy uh, small block 212 on it. The Tillotson 212R is available at gopowersports.com. You can find links to it to read more about it in the description of this video. Uh, basically, it makes around 12 horsepower right out of the box. It has a non-hemi 196 Tillotson head. It has the 196 Tillotson cam and a flat top piston, meaning it has, uh, there were talks about 14, 13 to one compression ratio, something like that. So, uh, very hot engine right out of the box. First things first, John, let's see if this thing will even run so we can do some comparison. All right, so I bought this bike like, what, over a year and a half ago, something like that? Yeah. Got it running briefly, and then we just never did anything with it. So, who knows? It might not even run. We wanna check for spark. All right, dude. Right. Yep. We yeah. Oh, it's got spark. Yep. So, fuel. Big surprise. Well, we got fuel in the bowl because it's dripping out. Some uh, rusty, crusty stuff here. Yeah, this jet is clogged. We need some air. It's pretty consistent, although that happens with slow things, doesn't it? What are we looking at? 7.06. Alright. Pretty consistent. Yeah, pretty consistent. Yeah. I put my foot down, like it's so slow it's a safety concern, dude. Like yeah. you would dump it over if you don't yeah. put your foot down. Alright. Other than that, what do you think of it? Rides um, pretty good, doesn't it? You know, this would be perfect for like a kid's first mini bike or even an adult's first mini bike. Uh -huh. Like an adult would probably be bored within two hours and they'd be ready to snatch the engine off. But, right. Like, it's it's a great first mini bike, honestly. Uh, I like the chassis. One thing, I kept hitting my shin on the uh, foot pegs, but what are you gonna do? All right, well, I'm ready to snatch this engine off and uh, quadruple the horsepower, I think safe to say. <laughs> Let's do it. Ike's trying to figure out exactly how old this bike is, uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and start by removing the uh, chain cover. If any of y'all know about what year this is or any other information, let, let us know in the comments. Oh, some nice bolts. Oh yeah. And before taking it off, I still have to take the throttle cable off. So yeah. I need to turn this engine some because this uh, screwdriver is too long. Sure. So I can get a good shot. We have some electrical too that needs to be undone. Okay. There we go. Alright. Take it off, buddy. And just like that, I found out that the exhaust is still hot and the engine's off. I just, uh, see, that's what I thought. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take the exhaust off. Wow, but it almost fits. I hope the header fits good. Yeah. Holy cow, I did the unthinkable. Pull the uh, stud out? Nah, even better. I dropped the nut right down into the exhaust port. Oh, no. And I thought to myself, boy, it's going to be something if I drop it down in the hole. Yep. That's exactly what I did. There we go. Let's see if it fits now. Quite a good glove. Except for so the in intake. All right, so the intake's got to go too. Well, let me see if I can just take the uh, cap off. Okay. 
because it should have pod in there. Yeah, it looks like it's it's lined up with the uh, original holes there. Okay. We just need to see. <laughs> what's Excuse me. We just need to see what kind of clutch and chain setup we need to go with. Oh wow. The Tilton blue matches the track blue. Ooh. Yeah. All right, yeah. dude. Pretty nice. This is this is good. I know. This is looking so good. You want to sell this mini bike, dude? Let's check this uh, clutch on here. I doubt. Because if it has the same size shaft, might as well use that. I think it's a half inch. Dude, I think it's the same size shaft. Oh, for real? Try it. Yeah, let's use it. Looks yeah. just a little warm. <laughs> just like that? Yeah. If we don't even have to switch the chain, that would be just incredible. There it is, buddy. All right, so that engine can now get pushed forward to tighten it. Man, that's incredible, man. That should be it, buddy. How tight is the chain? Pretty good. Tight enough. Let's see if I, how it rolls. We don't have the gasket on. No, we don't, but then we're not going to be able to put the nuts on it. Alright, we can always dimple the exhaust. That's true. She's got a little bit of a curve in her now, is that right? Yeah. Well, you really went to Dimple City. Yeah. So we installed this mini bike header and now header sock. Parts also from GoPowerSports.com. Check them out in the description. Perfect. Nice. That'll burn off. Yeah, it will. <laughs> I like that cover being on because you don't have to worry about the uh, chain getting your pant leg or... Yeah. You always have to loosen that 10 millimeter nut for the throttle. If you look, this throttle is not returning. What I like to do is I like to pull on the throttle or push on the throttle like that and I go over to this nut over here and I loosen it until the throttle starts to move freely. Oh. That's still hanging up a little bit, so we're going to loosen it a little bit more. So we're just waiting on me. Pretty much.
274. It's consistent. It's too fast for our drag strip, buddy. I um, just turned it off. Yeah. What's up? I was looking at the smoke. It's that header. Yeah, the header uh, wrap. Uh, the header you ought to go does. for a top speed run. I do. Yeah. Um... Thirty-five point nine, so thirty-six. Okay. Not bad. Uh, you hear how smooth the governor is? Yep. Yeah, I, I believe it's stock governed at fifty-eight hundred RPMs, uh, so a lot higher than like a Predator two uh -huh. twelve. Um, yeah, it's it's one of those where like once it comes on cam, like the front wheel gets a little light. Yeah. It's pretty peppy, dude. Okay. You wanna give a shot? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So the factory muffler wouldn't fit on here and usually when you do a header you also need to do an intake and a carburetor jet in order to make any engine run properly or any small engine like this. So we may want to look into upping the uh, jet size a little bit. Yeah. That's why it dies on deceleration but like I don't mind giving it a blip. I think it's cool honestly. Yeah. No, you heard it popping and yeah. stuff whenever I decelerate. That usually means a, a, leaned, okay. a lean condition yeah. so it could be a little on the lean side causing yeah. it to stall so anyhow other than that dude, dude this thing is mean. super oh i found the date oh you found the date it's a 2006 really so manufacturer date i'm not 100 percent sure why is that date 01060 call me crazy buddy but this is my favorite mini bike of all time all four years we've been doing this stuff right here this setup it's the perfect amount of powerful it's comfortable it looks awesome this is it i've been trying to get you to do this bike for months now i know and we've been putting it off but we had the perfect engine to put on it that's why i pushed to get this thing done today and john falls in love with it honestly like if, if you're in the market for a new performance engine like a, a 212 or a small block this is gonna be your best starting point you can hear it in the video for yourself i mean it sounds like a built engine it's bone stock if you enjoyed this video today leave us a thumbs up it'll help it get seen by more people and let us know in the comments what should we do with the new 212r check out this engine from gopowersports.com you can find links in the description of this video and subscribe to cars and cameras for more awesome mini bike go-kart atv golf cart content if you want to help support us in what we do pick up a hoodie hat sticker or t-shirt at cars-cameras.com thanks for watching we'll see you next time